we move on to the 12 p.m. Eastern Time slate with the Sun Bowl. This one's going to be on CBS Washington State, a seven and a half point favorite over Central Michigan. Central Michigan was supposed to be in the Arizona Bowl. Boise State had to back out of that one. Washington State was supposed to play against Miami. Miami had to back out of that. Obviously, you all know about the COVID protocols, all that kind of stuff, right? Central Michigan, by moving to this game, their payout in the Arizona Bowl was $175,000. Their payout in this game is $2.3 million. Now, that goes back to their conference to be distributed amongst the uh, the conference members. But that's still a huge, huge uh, pay increase. That is a massive, massive proposition. And they're going from Albuquerque, New Mexico, over to, I believe it's Albuquerque. Either way, they're, they're in... Nope, nope. There's somewhere in Arizona because obviously it was the Arizona Bowl. It's only a four-hour drive to El Paso, Texas. Let me say that, okay? Uh, I believe that Central Michigan is excited about this. This is the biggest bowl game that they have ever played in in the history of the football program. The Sun Bowl is a big-time traditional bowl. And no, they haven't had exactly great matchups recently. And El Paso, not you know exactly where people want to be spending their bowl season. However, it is, or it can be warmer. It can be a lot of fun. There's a lot going on there. Again, bigger pay increase. You get to play a Power 5 school. Central Michigan has had success against Power 5 schools uh, this year as well. Daniel Richardson, the quarterback, I think will be able to have some success against Washington State. Jake Dickert is the interim head coach and now the head coach. They have had a fun year. Their running back, Max Borgie, is out for this one. Their backup running back is out. Their starting left tackle, dealing with an injury. He's not playing. Washington State, while they do want to end the season on a good note and whatnot, I don't know that they know exactly what to expect from Central Michigan. I think uh, Pimpleton and that bunch from Central Michigan are going to have a lot of fun in this ballgame. And I think they're going to be able to put up points. So I think 7.5 is too much. Central Michigan is a 7.5 point underdog. I will take the tips in this one to be able to handle Washington State. And I think they could actually win the game. I really think they could. Uh, getting to the, the bowl gifts. Now let's talk about this. The Here we go. A gift suite. <laughs> you guys know how I feel about that. A majestic pro base fleece pullover. That's interesting a Timely Watch, an Ogeo Excelsior backpack. That sounds fancy as hell. A baseball cap and a souvenir coin. So I, I can get down with this. Sun Bowl kind of goes out a little bit. So you toss in the gift suite along with some other cool stuff. Totally fine with that. That seems perfectly reasonable. I will I will take that. That seems good. So uh, again, I will go with Central Michigan to cover the 7.5. I like Daniel Richardson. I like what... Jim McElwain has got going on there. Washington State, a lot of fun to pull for. This will be a fun game because it is two teams, one, that are a lot of fun to watch play already, but they're fun to root for. The stories behind both of them are really cool, uh, so this one's going to be very interesting to watch. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.